Hello and welcome to a Retrotech 100 Facebook page is 20p arcade challenge. It has been a while. It has been a while indeed. Uh, with Corona and everything else going crazy, um, my work has been off the hook because I work in insurance and as you can imagine the last few months have been wild to say the least. Um, so I haven't really had much chance to join in with any of the challenges which is a shame because there have been lots of really good ones. Uh, lots of great games have been uh, been shown on the RetroTech 100 Facebook page, uh, but this week is a game that I never played before. It's called Knuckle Bash. It was released in 1993 by Toa Plan and released by Atari Games. Now, Toa Plan are more known for their shmups, and um, a lot of people absolutely love Toa Plan shooters. I'm not one of them. I there's always something not quite quite right with Toa Plan shmups. Um, but it's interesting because I didn't know that they ever made a side-scrolling beat-em-up and I am intrigued to see how this goes. I'm interested to see how this is. Um, from what I've seen of the game, it is extremely tacky. It's definitely a product of its era. Um, but let's check it out, shall we? I've pre-configured my controller. Xbox One controller, of course. Um, we're not using a joystick. We're not using the SNK Arcade Stick Pro for this one. Um, because I've tucked it away behind the tally. Uh, so let's just roll with what we've got. So we've got two credits to get through as much of the game as we possibly can. Default settings. One run, your recorded run, is the only chance you get. You can practice as much as you like before you record. But as I said, I haven't really had much chance. So we're just going to run with it. I'm not expecting to win this week's challenge, but I just want to participate. So, we have to pick off to destroy the ball group. And I'm going to choose between Nacho Libre, Elvis, and Guile. I am going to go for leaving the building with Elvis. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Elvis with big titties. Uh -huh. Becoming a professional wrestler has always been my dream. I'll fight to the end to save the sport from Croc Mabbles. Wrestling Heroes United. Oh, whoa, that's way too fast. I can't read that. His name is Hayate Ninja Warrior, resides in Hong Kong. The Marbles want him too, and will stop at nothing. The heroes can't let this happen, even if it means... Even if it means what? Going to Hotel Rats. Okay. Oh, giant pig man. And we're off. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that, unlike most fighting games of the era, you can move while punching. That's really weird. And it feels really unusual and a little bit stiff to control. There's no real sense of connection with my attacks from what I can feel so far. Doesn't look like I can destroy the cars. I've got no dash. But I have got a popped collar, which makes me look like a PlayStation 5. Okay. Whoa. Let's go. Let's beat up the bellboy. And speaking of bells, don't forget to touch my bell for notifications when a new video goes live. I don't not blow very often, it's always between my schedule with work and kids and what have you, so... I don't have a regular upload time, so it's really important that you hit that bell to be notified of when I do actually go live, so please do it if you haven't done already. It really helps me out, I really appreciate the support. And uh, you get informed of when an ugly looking mofo like that comes on my screen. Whoa, that's a face only a mother could love, and that's from this face talking. slam him into the floor, it can't make him uglier. Damn! It does a lot of damage. And my punches do next to nothing. Now, I've got this slide and it doesn't look like it takes off any health when I do it, so... Perhaps I'll just spam that. Use that to get close, maybe. My health goes for one slap. And yet four punches to his face till next to nothing. What? 
really. Okay, that's my first credit down. I'm going to continue with Elvis. Okay. Okay, I'm against a kickboxer and hacksaw Jim Duggan. Right. Or is it the bushwhacker? Rock and roll! Stage one clear. Elvis has left the building via the balcony. Okay, push a button. Right. Wow, well, really, I have to hammer this hard. What's it doing? It's not doing anything. Okay, there we go. Right, I see. So I got life back. Not a great deal of it, but I do get life back, which is cool. Oh, let me live. What? Okay, that is an awful caricature of gay people, even for the 90s. That is dreadful. Toplan, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Look at it. Slam dunk is funk. Oh. Okay, so they duck under your punches a lot, and that's super annoying. I'm not going to make it past this guy, am I? So you basically just have to bide your time. Oh, there's a Scuba Steve looking guy. You have to wait for them to hit you. Basically, just have to counter punch from the look of things. It seems like they have built in invincibility frames on certain moves. Oh, I got an extra life. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so it's just this guy left. And I still can't get over how they thought that that caricature was acceptable. You know, people rag on uh, Bare Knuckle 3 for uh, its depiction of a gay character in Ash. But Ash is nothing on that. That is bad. But here we are, we're on the boat. Uh, we've got Edmund Honda wannabes. Good boy. How can they hit me out of a move like that? That is just horse crap. Knee him in the bollocks a couple of times, get rid of him. Thumbs up from me. Now what do we do? Okay, I'm against the incredible King Kong. Blanca wanna be. Look at this guy. That is a full on Blanca. That's probably where the end of my run is gonna finish. Because I can't get close to this guy. Oh, that's Blanca, and that's full on Blanca. That is a total ripple. Dead yet? Yeah. Stay true cleared. Come 
What? He knocked me out? Wow. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the controls on this are a bit janky. It's it's not the greatest game in the world. There is a reason why it's obscure and why nobody knows about it. Because it got drowned out in a sea of scrolling beat-em-ups that are so much better. It's not a bad game per se, it's just not a great one. But there we have it. We made it to uh, stage four. 211,200 points. That is the end of my run. And um, I don't think I'll ever be playing that again. It's it's not really grabbed my fancy, but I am glad I checked it out. Um, in my opinion, Tower Plan are still making games that are well a bit a bit below average. There's something always missing with their games. There was something always missing with their shmups for me, and it looks like there's something missing here with their their beat 'em ups as well. But I'm glad I've checked it out, and I hope you have enjoyed me checking out. Knuckle Bash on the arcade. Anyway, that is the end of my run, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.